What's up, Shooting Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, pick this up. This is from Foam Action Sports. It's a foam shooting support for rifles and pistols. I actually picked it up because I saw it on Such's channel. And I actually need to go to the range because of all those new Hollow Sun optics I picked up. Uh, get them all zeroed in. And just thought maybe this would be lighter and easier to take than kind of the traditional, you know, stands that you often take, which tend to be plastic and foam and rubber and rigid and heavy and uh, a lot of times all I really need or want is that front stand because you're going to use your shoulder and your fist and your hand to kind of balance the back end. So I thought I'd pick this up. It's kind of like a high density foam looks like and from what I can tell it seems to keep its shape pretty well. Now it's it's super light obviously right? I mean like foam would be. I'm kind of curious, look at the corner here, it's kind of mashed up a little bit. Um, and that's kind of my big concern is that how much will deform under the weight of a rifle and heat and outside. Now, uh, that doesn't worry me. Uh, and I think generally this seems like kind of a closed cell and it seems really thick and I can press it and it seems to rebound here pretty well. Uh, you obviously have a cutout here, uh, straight cut, you know, your rifle can fit in there. Uh, it can be a little higher here. And then you have a, a second one, you know, especially if one gets worn out. And then you obviously have a flat end right there. Now, how big is this bad boy? Let's find out. So some quick measurements here. Uh, it's about a little over six and a quarter inches wide. And it's just under three inches thick. And in terms of length here, looks like it's just about eight and a half inches long. Now, from the table to that, the low point of the notch, it's about five and a half inches when it's laying on its side. And when you have it vertically here, table to the low point of that notch is about seven and a quarter inches. And so, obviously, you probably don't have a V-shaped handguard, so most things are going to kind of sit uh, maybe even a little higher and then kind of pressed in there but uh, this foam action sports uh, gun rest you know we're gonna have to try it out I love how portable it is so let's go take it to the range and do some shooting with it and see how it holds up. all right so I took it to the range actually the Bristol range outdoor range up in Bristol Wisconsin and uh, you know held up great a couple things I might say about it is here's a look at it after the shooting and you can see it's really no worse for wear I, I certainly wasn't trying to baby it and uh, the cool thing is it's so light, uh, it's one of the nicer kind of gun rests that you can carry around because it doesn't take up any space and it's really actually quite compact as opposed to the big plastic and vinyl ones that I used to, um, you know, carry around with me before. And you can see here, basically, the only way I could use it, unfortunately, I only got some video of the stand. I didn't really have a place to shoot video of me shooting it, but I basically kind of put it in its tallest position. So if, if you're using this with an AR, I think you're going to find, you know, when you're using a bench rest that, uh, you know, in the tallest, most vertical position, it's kind of the right height for it for the typical AR. So uh, pretty much all my shooting was being done up there. And as you can see here, kind of this V notch has some grooves and a little wear, you know, where the, the rifle's going to kick back a little bit. But, you know, its overall shape is still just fine, certainly usable. And I didn't use any of the other notches. Now, it does slide around a little bit because of its lightweight. You know, it's going to kind of ride with the, the rifle. And so it kind of backs up a little bit on you. So you kind of do have to push it up forward. And the other thing I will say is that because it's, um, it's light and kind of rocks a little, uh, you're, it's maybe not as stable of a front rest as you know, the more traditional, you know, plastic or metal gun rest. Now, that being said, you know, if you're trying to sight in something at 50 yards, which I was, this worked perfectly fine for it, you know, especially when you can kind of cradle the back end and brace it with your fist and things like that. It worked perfectly. Uh, if you're going to get really, really precise, maybe go out to 100 yards or something. Maybe you want to use some sandbags or something heavier where the gun is kind of uh, supported even more. But, you know, for a little support to sight in a rifle or for target shooting or group shooting or varmint shooting. Uh, I think this thing is great. The foam action sports foam gun rest block definitely has my seal of approval and goes to my range bag. Peter Bump and out.